Military forces can use modern anti-tank missiles like the AGM-114R, Spike, Javelin, and Red Arrow 12 to stop a highly armored tank in its tracks. However, in today's video, we'll look at the AGM-114R and the Javelin. AGM-114R The Lockheed Martin developed AGM-114R Multipurpose Hellfire II, which is the most recent iteration of the Hellfire II air-to-ground missile family. Hellfire II missiles are available in a variety of variations. The basic Hellfire II missile is the AGM-114K, which has a shape-charged heat warhead capable of destroying armored vehicles or punching holes in structures. The Hellfire II air-to-ground missile system offers assault helicopters with considerable anti-armor capabilities. The AGM-114K, a variation of the heat warhead, adds a blast fragmentation sleeve to the anti-tank capabilities, increasing its utility against unarmed targets in the open. The Navy created the AM-114M variant, which has a blast fragmentation warhead that is useful against boats, light armored vehicles, and other targets. The AGM-114N type has a thermobaric warhead capable of sucking the air out of a cave, collapsing buildings, or producing a massive explosion radius in open space. The Greek and U.S. governments signed an LOA in October 2007 for extra Hellfire II missiles for the Hellenic Navy's SH-60B Seahawk helicopters. The metal airframe with two sets of cruciform wings houses the cargo and systems. The laser seeker, warhead, guidance section, propulsion, and control sections are all part of the airframe. The Hellfire II missile measures 1.62 meters in length, 17.7 .7 meters in diameter, and 0.71 meters in wingspan. Each Hellfire weighs 45.4 and 49 kilograms, including an 8 to 9 kilogram multifunctional warhead. Depending on the trajectory, it has a range of 8 kilometers, 7.1 kilometers, and 11 kilometers. Hellfire 2 may latch onto targets before or after launch for greater platform survivability. The AGM-114 missile has a conical-shaped charge warhead with a copper liner cone, creating a jet for armor penetration and anti-armor duties. The shaped charge and blast fragmentation warhead have a high explosive yield and are efficient against applique and reactive armor. The AGM-114R Hellfire II model incorporates semi-active laser seekers to destroy a wide range of targets. The AGM-114R may be fired from a variety of fixed-wing and helicopter aircraft and surface ships and military ground vehicles. The MQ-1B Predator, the MQ-9 Reaper, and the MQ-1C Gray Eagle are among the unmanned aerial vehicles that uses Hellfire II as their primary missile. These missiles might eventually be used to equip unmanned military helicopters in the United States. The Hellfire II will be replaced by the Lockheed Martin AGM-179 Joint Air-to-Ground Missile, a semi-active laser and millimeter wave radar guided missile, in the early years of this decade. The BGM-71 TOW and the AGM-65 Maverick missiles will be replaced by the JAGM for launch from Army AH-64 Apache attack helicopters and Army MQ-1C Gray Eagle unmanned aerial vehicles, Navy MH-60R helicopters, and Marine Corps AH-1Z Viper attack helicopters. The Hellfire missile weighs 106 pounds and comes in high explosive and blast fragmentation versions to destroy tanks and other armored vehicles as well as trucks, antenna sites, enemy troop concentrations, and other soft targets. The AGM-114R Hellfire II Romeo RX missile employs a semi-active laser guidance system and a blast fragmentation sleeve warhead to strike targets that previously required multiple Hellfire versions to destroy. These missiles can find their targets on their way or with the help of remote laser designators. The Hellfire is a two-in-one missile that may be employed as an air-to-ground or air-to-air -air missile. The AGM-114 is designed to strike tanks, buildings, bunkers, and helicopters with pinpoint accuracy. Using lasers, the missile may be steered towards the target either from inside or outside the aircraft. History the Hellfire missile was developed in response to the U.S. Army's request for an air-to-ground missile that could be deployed from helicopters against armored battle vehicles in 1974. In 1982, the AGM-114A was introduced as the standard model. The AGM-114B entered its development test and evaluation phase in 1984. Congress appropriated $20 million in FY1998 for the purchase of 100 AGM-114M missiles and 100 CATM-114K training missiles. The CATM-114K missile deliveries were completed in April 2000. In December of 2000, AGM-114M missiles were delivered. 
To address inventory constraints, a total of $20 million was allocated to the budget in FY2000 for the acquisition of 225 extra AGM 114K missiles. Power and Propulsion a single-stage solid propellant vehicle TX-657 solid fuel rocket motor propels Hellfire. The motor can provide an initial thrust of 10 Gs. In October 2017, Orbital ATK delivered the 100,000th tactical motor for the Hellfire missile. The motor is being upgraded to include insensitive ammunition. The missile has a top speed of 950 miles per hour. Javelin missile. If you've been hearing a lot about this missile lately, it's because it's been a big part of the Ukraine-Russia conflict, so you're probably wondering what a Javelin missile is. They are one of the most effective anti-tank weapon systems with a range of 2.5 kilometers, making them useful in warfare. They also attack tanks from above, aiming for the weakest points in the armor. They are utilized in Ukraine for a variety of reasons, one of which is that they are said to be quite simple to operate. You could also learn to operate one of these, as it is the most user-friendly of the anti-tank missiles. Raytheon's Javelin Command Launch Unit, Missile Guidance Electronic Unit, System Software, and System Engineering Management are all handled by Raytheon, while the Missile Seeker, Engineering, and Assembly are handled by Lockheed Martin. The Javelin has been used frequently in combat missions in Afghanistan and Iraq. U.S. and coalition forces have successfully completed over 5,000 engagements with the weapon system in Afghanistan and Iraq. The U.S. Armed Services and 19 partner nations presently have over 50,000 Javelin missiles and 12,000 CLUs in operation. The Javelin is intended to serve the United States until 2050. In May 2020, the JV finished the initial manufacturing of the Javelin F-model missile, which has a multi-purpose warhead. History The development of the Javelin as a successor to the M47 Dragon anti-tank missile was granted a contract by the U.S. Army in 1989. Texas Instruments of Dallas, Texas, and Lockheed Martin Electronics and Missiles of Orlando, Florida, founded the Javelin Joint Venture. The Javelin reached full-rate production in 1994, and the U.S. Army deployed the system for the first time in June 1996 at Fort Benning, Georgia. During a demonstration in February 2013, the missile reached a range of 4,750 meters. In June 2013, five Javelins were successfully launched as part of the Utah Bias Joint Exercise between the Indian and U.S. militaries. In May 2014, the Cranfield Ordnance Test and Evaluation Center successfully test-fired a Javelin missile from a turret. In July 2014, the Javelin JV tested the launch of a missile from a remote weapon station on a wheeled vehicle. In September 2019, the Javelin missile was launched from a Titan Autonomous Ground Vehicle utilizing a Kongsberg remote launcher. A reusable CLU and modular missile are housed in a disposable launch tube assembly in the Javelin system. It may be utilized at any time of day or night in any weather. The CLU is passive target acquisition and fire control device with integrated day sight and thermal imaging capabilities that weigh 6.4 kilograms. The site is based on the conventional advanced Dewar assembly and employs DRS technologies, second generation thermal imaging technology. The firm also equips the site with quieter, dual opposed piston coolers. The CLU houses the gunner's controls for the missile system. The day sight has X4 magnification optics, while the night sight has X4 and X9 magnification optics. The Javelin missile and the ATK launch tube assembly make up the round. The missile has a range of 2,500 meters. The Javelin is a fire and forget missile with autonomous self-guidance and lock-on before launch. The missile is equipped with an imaging infrared seeker based on a 6464 gazing focal plane array in the 8 micron or 12 micron wave band made of cadmium mercury telluride. The infrared seeker for the British Army's missiles are supplied by the BAE Systems Avionics. A digital display, software processing enhancements, and a remote view of the gunner display in an RS-170 standard video format are among the other enhancements. The Javelin missile has anti-personnel fragmentation and a multi-purpose warhead with shaped charges targeting armored vehicles. How is Ukraine getting them? The United Kingdom, the United States, and NATO sent weaponry across, including Javelin missiles from both nations. Before Russia invaded Ukraine, Britain sent 2,000 light anti-tank missiles and it is currently delivering another 1,615. In less than a week, the US and NATO have pushed more than 17,000 anti-tank weapons, including Javelin missiles, over the borders of Poland and Romania, unloading them front giant military cargo planes so they can make the trip by land to Kiev, Ukraine's capital, and other major cities, according to the New York Times. Arms deliveries have been made at a breakneck pace. So, how do you feel about the Javelin and the AGM-114R anti-tank missiles? Which of their European equivalents might serve as a decent resemblance? Let us know what you think in the comment section below.